Good, uh, good evening, everyone. It is Crypto Plumber. Uh, this video is just going to be about mining. Actually, physically hardware mining uh, with the Ant Miner S9. Uh, I just got in two more S9 13.5 terahash miners that we're going to unbox right now and I'll show you how easy it is to uh, plug in and set up. Uh, if you look over here real quick, you'll see that I am in the stages of building a mining rig with the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti Founders Edition. And I got a couple power supplies ready, I got the motherboard ready, and look at these will be for our miners. And let's also take a couple power cords, which we're going to use. You're going to see them already set up with eight 240 volt, 15 amp circuits. They're going to power these miners. So first, let's take a look at the power supply. I'm going to try to do this with one hand, so bear with me. going to see that there's our power connection. This fan is the exhaust. Oh, I'm sorry, this fan sucks in and this is the exhaust side. And you're going to see that there are multiple power connections. The um, Antminer S9 has three ASIC mining chips and each one I believe takes three powers. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then the main control takes another one. So that's the power supply. Uh, if you're lucky enough to buy it on Antminer, it's 105 US dollars. If you buy it on Amazon or eBay, expect to pay $250 for that. You open up the Antminer box, you get this little welcome introduction letter. Tell you that, uh, hey, you know, you break it, you're fucked. the warranty which is I think two months but let's uh, take this out give me one second it comes wrapped it comes in plenty of styrofoam and it comes wrapped in bubble wrap keep it nice and safe and protected and you gotta give it a good little rattle See if you hear anything loose inside there. That they are coming from China. This actually took about seven shipping days to get clear through customs in China and clear through customs in the U.S. and Anchorage. But there it is. Yeah, one, two, three, three on each, and then one on the uh, control board for that. So, give me a minute and we're going to hook this up. This is the exhaust, guys.
I'm going to take a cat seven. I'll get into my gigabit switch. And on the back of the unit, you will see the Ethernet connection. You will also see this button called IP Reporter. Or IP Report. Let's keep that in mind, okay, guys? I'm going to talk about that in just a couple minutes. Sure. I'm going to get my power supply plug. Let's plug that in. Let's plug in this one. Now you guys hear the noise now, right? It's pretty loud. So let's plug in power. There we go. Now, let's go over to a computer. Oh, my guy brought me lunch. Too bad I wasn't here. Let me just log into my network real quick. Close some windows here. Matter of fact, hold on a second, guys. Task manager. For some reason, this stupid Windows computer. I always gotta force quit apps. Otherwise, it's slow as can be. So let's force quit Firefox. Why is Chrome even still there? I have no idea. Alright. Open up a browser. Actually, I'm not going to do that yet. Hold on a second. Oh, I can always windows pop open. Uh, I'm going to go to an app called IP Reporter. Let's double click on that. Okay. Let's go to the new miner. A little louder in here right now, right guys? We're going to push in that IP Report button. All right, now let's go back to the program. Uh, let's hit start. Sometimes it takes a couple seconds. But I also think that the miner is still in the startup process. So I don't see it doing anything. Let's stop. Let's start again. We need this. We need to do this step because we need to figure out what the IP address is of the miner. That way we can go into a, a browser, log into the miner with the IP address, and configure the miner. So, let's go back over there see what the status of the miner is. Okay, we got something here. So, there's our IP address. So I'm just gonna open up a browser, and I am gonna type in 
that IP address, 192.168.1.5. All right, and it's asking for the password. Bitmain's default username and password is root and root. Hit OK. I'm not going to save right now. And there is our minor configuration, uh, minor page. Um, we'll go to minor configuration. And we don't want to mine with them. But for example, let's go to. I'm going to log into console.pool.bitcoin.com. I'm going to log into my account, grab the URL addresses, and enter in those URL addresses in all three of these fields. You, you taking the worker name from there and creating a password. It could be blank. It could well, it can't be blank. It could be anything you want. It could be blah blah blah. It could be. It could be anything that could be made up. And then hit save and apply. The the miner will reboot, and you're mining, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, comment, hit the notification bell for future videos. Um, I happen to love mining. This is how I got started in cryptocurrency. And as you can see, I'm not stopping. Uh, I teamed up with um, a couple other guys and we have several more ant miners on order. And um, we're going to make that money. So follow me, guys, and let's take this money to the moon. Thanks for watching. Have a good evening.